Hello and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time hanging out with me, my name is Mr. Jim, and guess what? I love stories. It's ideas that come from kids just like you that are the bones to this show. So your ideas are the actual roots to all the stories. And parents, this is a phenomenal way to not only reduce screen time, but increase imagination, which I'm sure we are all in need of today. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! It was a beautiful day as Phoenix was getting ready for school. He was tying his shoes and grabbing his backpack and about to head out the door. He went to a really fun school and had lots of great friends there. And today was a sunny day and he just couldn't wait to play outside with everybody at school. They had a really cool playground and place to play. At your school, do you have somewhere really fun to play? Or maybe if you're homeschooled, do you have somewhere fun to play close to your house? Yes, well, Phoenix had the coolest place to play with all of his friends. And one of their favorite games was playing Floor is Lava. Have you ever played Floor is Lava? Oh, (laughs) it's a very, very fun game. As he got off the bus at school and was walking towards the door, he looked up in the sky. Something very strange was up there. Whoa! Hey, do you guys see that? Said Phoenix as he was pointing up to the clouds. I just saw, like, some kind of blimp or something in the clouds. Everyone froze and looked up at the clouds. They had always dreamed of seeing the purple blimp drive overhead. Because that would mean that maybe, just maybe, we could finally catch that evil Dr. Stinky Breath. As they grabbed their binoculars and surveyed the clouds, there were just... It was a nice sunny day, but there were just a lot of clouds in the way. Hmm, I know I saw something, said Phoenix. We have to keep our eyes open. Because I can feel it in my bones, that evil doctor is very, very close. Have you ever felt that before, that... Maybe Dr. Stinky Breath is getting close, or maybe he's his blimp is up in the sky. Oh, yeah, I smell him all the time. You see, he likes to hang out kind of by HQ. I think he's trying to find a way to break in again. And thankfully, he's incredibly stinky, and so <laughs> you can smell him from a mile away. And Phoenix, he knew that, so... He smelled the air and didn't smell anything very stinky, so he decided it was time to go to school. As him and all of his classmates walked into their classroom, they sat down and started learning about the weather. (laughs) Do you like learning about the weather? I think the weather is pretty amazing. Like you have all these crazy cool things like clouds and rain and lightning and the heat and the sun and the cold and the ice and the snow. And and then there's people that know exactly what's going to happen tomorrow or this afternoon. But how in the world are weathermen so smart? They can look at those pictures and the screens and know exactly what temperature it's going to be at three o'clock. That is a super skill. I have no idea what temperature it's going to be this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Do you? As Phoenix looked up at the clock, he knew that it was almost time for recess, which was definitely one of the highlights of the day. That is when you get to go outside and do something amazing. The bell rang, which meant it was time. Woohoo! Phoenix and all of his classmates were so excited to run outside and get to playing. But this is where the story takes a big turn. The intercom system in the school started playing a message. This is a special message for all of the teachers. Teachers, there is free food in the front parking lot. Please come outside to collect your free lunch right now. Shh. If you've ever met a teacher, you know that they like free food. And I do too. I can't blame them. (laughs) Well, it was as soon as that message went across the intercom system, all the teachers started running through the halls. So wait a second. I thought there was no running in the halls. Wow, these teachers really like free lunches. 
Phoenix was walking towards the back door, which is where all the kids were going to go for their outdoor recess. But it was strange because all the teachers were running in the opposite direction. He could see all the teachers going out the front door and it looked like there was some kind of food truck out in the front that was handing out all that free food. Oh, that looks good, said one of Phoenix's friends. But let's go. We got to go play lava tag. Come on. Pretty soon, all the students were in the back of the school on the playground and in that whole area. It was a pretty amazing playground and just like a whole area to to explore and play games. It was impossible to run out of fun things to do. After 10 minutes of playing lava tag, Phoenix finally caught his breath and looked up. (sighs) Wait a second. Guys, did any of the teachers ever come out here yet? Phoenix was bent over with his hands on his knees from running around. He needed to catch his breath. One of his friends walked over and said, No, Phoenix, I haven't seen any teachers. They looked all around the playground and didn't see a single teacher. That is super weird. Wait a second. Look up there! Phoenix was pointing right to the clouds. He was right all along. Out emerged from the clouds, the purple stinky blimp. Dun dun dun! Ah 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 ah! Attention, my stinky students. I'm sure you are wondering what in the world is going on. Well, your teachers have gone on an extended holiday and. And you have been given the incredible opportunity to become a real purple ninja. <laughs> Phoenix couldn't believe it. He started running back into the school and there was complete panic and pandemonium. All the students didn't know what in the world was going on. But as Phoenix tried to run out the front door, it was locked. And they quickly learned that every door to outside was locked. Let's run back to the playground and try to escape, shouted Phoenix. He ran back to the playground, which was now looking completely different. Purple ninjas had parachuted out from the purple blimp and had sprayed some kind of lava foam on the fence that was surrounding the playground. And it was now real lava. Ah! What in the world are Phoenix and his friends going to do? Are they going to be able to escape this school in time? Or is Dr. Stinky Breath going to be able to turn them into a real purple ninja? I don't know what's going to happen, but this sounds serious. And we will see you on the next episode. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is, it's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Kaylee and Emily from New Zealand, Wesson from Ontario, Eshton and Kian from Singapore, AJ and Joey from Massachusetts, Isla from Ireland, Sienna from New Jersey, and Jasper from England. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop. Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Will you have a super duper day? (laughs) And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!